What is up guys, Johnny here. Today I got a speedrunning guide for the Blade Dancer dungeon. Why a speedrun the Blade Dancer? Because the Blade Dancer dungeon got the best legendaries in the game. It's got the Kira SMG, it's got the Nico Stopper auto rifle. So you want to play the Blade Dancer many, many, many times. As you know, the legendaries are very rare in this game. So why are you going to speedrun? You don't get better drop rates for speedrunning. The time does not affect your luck. But if you do 10 minutes instead of 30 minutes, you're going to do a lot more runs in a day if you're going to speed farm for a couple hours. So in this guide, I will show you guys how we do it and I will try to explain as much as possible. I'm expecting you guys to know the layout a little bit. You must have run the Blade Dancer a couple times. If you're not familiar with the dungeon, you should watch my other Blade Dancer guide. Link in the description. Alright, so at the start, as soon as you get off the plane, you will go all three players together you will go to the right pad and then you will go here uh, under this uh, container and then you will be at the hill fight so the hill fight you will focus on three or four elites that will spawn sometimes there are only three sometimes there's four so we'll try to kill these as fast as possible two players have the stunner and one player has the am bomb as soon as the elites are down the am bomb player will uh, activate the skill and that will open the container that was close at the bottom right here with three enemies. So right here, two players will go through that path. The AM bomb player will stay outside. All right, so I pause the video here. So we got to get three charges to blow up the door, right? So if you see, there's a path on the right before the door. Uh, there's like a tunnel there. So the two players that go inside, one will take that tunnel and the other one will go straight to the inside to open the door for the player that stayed outside. The player that stayed outside will grab the charge that was way out behind a container. You remember, if you don't know what I'm talking about, again, watch my other guide. So my, my teammate went right to grab one of the charges. What I'll do is I'll go straight up there. I will go all the way to the end of the hall and I will open that door for my teammate. By the way, I get to the door, he's already gone, uh, grab the third charge, and he will switch his skill, the AM bomb, he will switch the stunner. Now I will grab one of the charge here, and then I will go the left and back to the door. So the timing is pretty good. We all go at the door pretty much at the same time and place all three charges at the same time. Now, while you wait for the five seconds for the door to blow, you have to kill the two crushers. You don't have a choice. If you try to skip this, there will be a bug later on. Some enemies will not spawn and it will screw your run. You will no longer be able to progress. Now, usually here, the first guy to enter will go uh, open that door. But this time I did it, but we communicate. So kill two great enemies, one on the right, one on the left. That will open that door. So I'll go in. And I will, um, I don't know, how is it called again? Uh, force field disable. So as soon as it's disabled, one of the teammates will go and uh, open that door. Two players open that door and get in. Stun, supercharge, eliminate these two elites as fast as possible. And then we split, we hack the two consoles. So communication is important. You have to know what you're going to do. Uh, who does what, who goes where, this is pretty much important. Uh, by the way, you don't blow the red switch. You have to lock yourself inside so you don't get attacked while you hack these two consoles. So the third guy who opened the, the door, uh, he's going to stay outside and kill some of the, the trash mobs. Now it's time to look on the floor and try to find some secondary ammo. It is pretty important. It's going to cut off some time at the boss. And this is where you will split now. One player alone will go in the gas room and go upstairs to the right teleporter. He will uh, activate the, or deactivate the lasers for the two other players and it will peek at the code number three and it will call it to us. So you need to use a mic. Uh, best way is to use a discord. Now that two players are good to go, we're going to go at the teleporter room one at a time. You cannot go two in the teleporter. So I open the door. My teammate goes in. And I wait for him to go through the teleporter as you will see as soon as he's in and then I will start running and I will go. So while he's waiting for me, he goes around the crusher to kill the red box. So when I go in and I appear here, it's already open. So I stun and I uh, activate the elevator. 
Now he's already back to the elevator and we go in at the same time. While we are doing this, my teammate went down and went look for code number one and he will also tell me code number one. So at this point, I know code number three and code number one. Here, my teammate will hack the console, but we got to get rid of these three enemies real quick. And I will activate the t or change the teleporter. I will say my teammate that he's uh, at the bottom, teleporter is activated. So now I will go for four and two. Meanwhile, we will both go in and we'll start activating the code. So only one player will go and look at all the codes. While I'm doing code three and uh, three and one, uh, the teammate uh, at the bottom is running for four and two and he's calling it in the mic. So my other teammate is responsible for changing the codes four and two. While he's doing that, I will go and get ready to activate the code. I mean, uh, the console here. Here, be careful because there's a lot of things that can kill you, but it doesn't matter if you die, teammate's gonna revive you. You're just gonna waste a bit of time. So as soon as my teammate is done uh, changing the codes four and two, it will call it to me and I will tap the console and then we're done. All that's left is the boss fight. So at this point, we all have our three stunners ready and supercharge should be very close to being ready. But with three supercharge, three stunners and some kind of um, secondary ammo, there was another chance here to get some ammo. If you kill all, all these elites and, and trash mobs, you might have a chance to drop more secondary ammo. So yeah, if you get three players with like decent secondary ammo and all the skills ready you will have a very very good uh time at the boss look at that again with communication we will take turn uh stunning the blade dancer we have to communicate again you don't want to waste your stunner but i know i'm the third one to activate so my teammate will tell me uh, when he activates stun number two so i know in four seconds i have to activate stun number three but look at that okay we just spent like 12 seconds at the boss and he's almost dead because uh, crit damage, supercharge and secondary ammo plus a full 12 seconds of stun. He cannot do anything to us and the rest of the trash mobs are not spawned yet so they're not so dangerous but when the three stuns are done we have to start moving a little bit so we start missing some shots here as you can see. It's not so bad we still get a couple of crits and everything but you will see the time at the end. Um, I really had a not not a great boss fight here. We did some damage, but okay. So then uh, it's just running around and trying to stay alive. If you mess up, uh, your teammate's gonna revive you, hopefully. But you try to do as uh, much damage as possible on the boss, and then he's gonna be pretty much dead. By the way, uh, this last stun here is not gonna happen anymore because they nerfed the stun. So we got 618 on that run, but the stun cooldown is now 80 seconds instead of 40 so you're not going to be able to stun the boss again unless you really have a tough time putting a damage out there but usually the boss is almost like three quarter down after the first run of the three stuns so that's pretty much it guys so just a couple tips before we go uh first of all you should use voice chat there's a couple apps that you can use but i really recommend you guys to use discord uh, again, my Discord link is in the description. If you're looking for uh, farming partners or other players that play the game, you should also check out the Shadowgun Legends official Discord. Also, some players there. You can find some teammates. Check out the Reddit. Check out the forums. But it's important to have a squad that you always play together so you know your roles and you know what to do. Another thing that's going to help is try to find names for the codes, the symbols you have to call out. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of time if you can just say one word and it's going to call the code for you. That will really help. So before we go, uh, I will leave you guys with the world record. It's a 6 minutes and 7 seconds run. Uh, and you can hear the calls at the same time. It will help you maybe. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and watch my other videos. I will be back soon. Take care. You play from iOS? No, no, no. I'm on Android uh, S5, Galaxy S5. The game knows what Derb wants to see. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it should be down here. One back. Finally, finally. I died. Damn it, this sucks.
Ooh, I die him. very often here. Did it work? open? No. No, it's open. open. It's okay. a, it was a guy down, but like the furthest guy in the back. Just yeah, I think we might have open. to kill like the two gray commons that we run past. Maybe. Like the one in the like the container we run we run through a container. There's one in there. I think we should kill him. <sighs> Make sure you switch your skills back. Yep, yeah, it's done. <clears throat> He's in the way. Oof, I got it. About to die. No. Got it. Oh, a tough one. Ooh, what a shot! Fuck. I'm not getting any uh, sniper bullets. Like, not a single one. Yeah, that's not good. Nope. I'm full on sniper ammo. But we need to all be full. Yep. Yeah, they said they will get an update every month. That's what they want to do. So that's a good sign. Very. Mm -hmm. Three is dick. Got it. One is also dick. Cow, double dick. The game's trying to tell you something, Johnny. <laughs> Order up. I mean, it's trying to tell you something. It's showing you naked characters and dicks all over the place, so. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Work, you piece of junk. The fucking alien stuck in the portal with me. Okay. <laughs> Four is arrow down. Double dick activated. And two is L with a dot. Punch it, lightning, lightning, lightning. Not again. This is fast, guys. Yeah, this but is fast. I might die, yeah, but you, it doesn't matter if I die here, right? Failed, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you die. Oh. Yeah, it was so fast, actually, that I won't have my supercharge yet. I does have my I do have mine because I I didn't have it ready for the yeah. crusher. I'm trying to time it better because we're going so fast now that it's, it's kind of awkward to use. But I don't have a choice to use mine on the control room. I think. Yeah. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Yeah, you won't scare me. Fuck. 
Do you want to hear next? Think I went too quick? No. No, good. you're good. You're good. Perfect. Shit. So I'm out of sniper ammo, but it's okay. Same. Just shoot the fuck out of him. He's. He, was he stuck or was I lagging? Yeah, he was stuck for a minute. I was shooting okay. the hell out of him. I was worried about getting disconnected there. Man, let's go, guys. We got this. This is doing really good, actually. Yeah. Dead. Nice. Wow. Nice. What's the time? Purple. Oh my god. Oh my 607. god. 607. This Six. is the best run ever. Wow. That was nice. It's new strat working. Damn, boys. Really good run in the AM bomb failed. And I yeah, got I know. Green. We can do under we six. We can get we can get five minutes, boys. Yeah, man. <laughs>